Hello guys, and welcome to Survival Games 5. Well, Map 5. Yes, as you guys know, usually whenever a map comes out, I don't believe I did it for number 4, but I am doing it for this one. When a new map comes out, I like to do a first impression slash overview of them. Now, this one is a little different. As you guys may or may not know, if you've seen the video, I did play this on the Yogscar stream live before it came out. So, unlike the other ones, I have played this one before, so my opinions and my kind of knowledge of it will be a little bit biased, I guess. But I am still going to do an overview, give you an idea of what is going on with it, and just show you the map in general, because of course there were bits that I wasn't able to show in my video of the stream, and, uh, you know, just overall go around it. So before I do anything, let me change my game mode, that might help. And god damn it. <sighs> There we go, I'm on creative now. Sorted. Right, so back to the overview. Let's pretend that never happened. In fact, did it ever happen? What just happened? I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, if you come up here, this is the lobby, just so you all know, and um, you may be wondering why I'm in a lobby if I'm not playing on a multiplayer server. Well, this map introduces something very, very awesome, which means something awesome for you guys as well. But I'll, I'll go into that in a second. Firstly, in the lobby, you've got this upstairs bit here, and this is something really nice they've added. They've got all the people who helped out and did stuff on the map. A few of these guys I played. I played with Titan. You remember I was hiding from him. Um, I'm not going to go through everyone and, you know, just say if they're there, but there's Variety representing Norway. Oh yeah, we've got admins here. All of that kind of stuff. So, you know, it, it's nice to get some recognition. And no matter how you guys are playing this on single player or multiplayer, that will be here. So that's a really nice feature. Then you've kind of got this uh, this kind of window here, which is actually in the map. Usually the lobbies, I think, are underground. But this one isn't. This one's actually above ground. So it kind of gives you a preview of the map there. Anyway, you know, as the lobby always does, there's some stuff you can play around with. There's a bunch of people just... <laughs> Randomly chilling upstairs and a logo of ride up there. So yeah, it, it's all good. And then what is over here? I don't even know what's on these signs. I don't think I've ever read them. Um, oh, okay. It, it's just basic information. And then you've got rules and info. So let's come over here. Okay. Now you press this to enter pods. Make sure everyone is ready before pressing button. Yes, this map implements command blocks. And if you don't know what command blocks are, they're basically server mods, basic server mods, built into the game. So you can just load this map onto a multiplayer server without adding any mods and it will run perfectly for you and your friends, which is fantastic. Which does mean in the future I am going to load this on and uh, play with a bunch of you guys because I wasn't able to get the official survival games mods before, but now we can actually technically play one on multiplayer pretty easily on stream. I do plan to do that to save all the waiting times to get on a server. Anyway, let's uh, let's press the button. Yeah, it will give us a chance. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Make sure everyone is ready. What? Maybe I need to be on survival. It could be that. No, apparently it's not there. Where did the button go? Huh? Okay, I'll be right back again. Okay, apparently I needed to be on adventure mode. I was going to say, yeah, okay, why? Well, that's that's uh, good to keep in mind. See, that is why we do these things on overviews. Because you learn. And you, yeah, you, you learn an experience. Anyway, there you go. Oh, and if you step out, it actually tells you if there's no more players in the lobby. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, so this is the button you press to start, it looks like. And then everyone's teleported. So these are all the pods. I'm not going to count how many people it can hold, but it's 6, 12, 18, 24. There you go. I did count it. Oh, my God. I didn't actually fail at maths once. There you go. It can hold 24 people. So you plus 23 of your friends can all play. Um, right now, here's where it gets tricky. Okay, I can step on it and I'm going to do it. Right, so it's going to... Oh, yeah, right. I need to go on uh... <laughs> adventure mode. Does that transport me? I think I've screwed it up. Oh no, unless it teleports me from here? No. Oh my god. This is what happens when you herped up on command blocks. Yeah. It's okay. I found the entrance area. So, I, you know, as I said, overviews are good because you learn things as you do it. 
Uh, that is just something very important to keep in mind if you do plan on loading this onto a multiplayer server using the command blocks. Um, make sure you're all on adventure mode, it looks like, and make sure you don't break any pieces of glass when you were doing it. I mean, it said on the sign, do not break the glass, but I kind of had to, to press it. There was no one else to do it, which, you know, is, I, I guess, a flaw, but that's okay. Anyway, so here is the spawn room. You, uh, you all have your pods here, your teleporters in there, and then it will start. You drop down here, and I love this drop. It's awesome. It is a nice looking drop. And uh, then you've got all your starter chests in there. Where was the one? Yeah, I found that. I got a diamond helmet in three out of four of the rounds. I was... Is that the only one with a diamond helmet? I lucked out so big. That was awesome. Anyway, you've got a crafting bench there if you want to try it as well, which I should have learned from last time. And then you come this way, and you start to go all your separate ways. There is cobwebs in all of these. Uh, apparently that's a dead end. I didn't know there was a dead end. There you go. Again, learning something new. Okay, let's find a good way out of here then. Where are we going? As for, um, usually in these I'd, I'd like to talk about, you know, like the theming and everything like that. Yeah, as for the theme, I love it. Obviously it's very Christmassy, which kind of fits in with the Christmas theme. As you can see, here's the uh, big dome. I've actually got my render distance on short right now, if you're wondering. Command blocks are kind of intensive if you're running them as I am on, like, one, if I'm hosting it and recording and everything and loads of processes running in the background, so apologies for that. But yeah, the winter theme works really well. I really like it. It's very... I, I don't know how to phrase it, but it's, it's calming and tense at the same time. If you know what I mean, like, I find winter quite calming, but then the aspect of, you know, being killed is, of course... Very, very hectic, so it's nice to have that. And uh, skyscrapers, by the way, I love it. These are these are tricky. Something I learned when I was playing this. Of course, not all of these have a bunch of chests in them, so some of them you'll go in and you'll have... You know, a, a bunch of chests will be in some of them, and you'll go in there and you'll get a lot of stuff. Some of them you'll go in and you'll get maybe like one, two things, which is the most ragey feeling ever. Oh, I didn't know there was a helicopter up here. This is pretty cool. Let's go in here. What is there in here? Oh my god! We're going down! <sighs> Sorry, I, <laughs> I had to do that. I'm sure the movies can do it better than me. They should probably hire me, actually, for that. You know, if, if Avatar or anything ever needs... If Walking Dead is a perfect example, needs a helicopter crashing sound effect, hire Yoshi! Oh my god, we're going down! No! <sighs> there you go, guys. Exclusively on Survival Games 5 map overview. Anyway, continuing around... Um, let me just head, you know what I want to do, I want to head over this area, because on all of the matches I played live, I always went that area, and I, I know that. I don't really know what else is over here, to be honest. So this will be, this will be totally new for me, like the map overviews kind of should be. So that'll be good. Let, let's head over here, check it out. Let me see if I can get away now with, uh, oh, no, wrong thing, wrong thing. Uh, getting on just normal. Because, yeah, it is kind of annoying. Yeah, okay. It seems like we're fine now. I think it was as the command blocks were just doing their thing. Ah, this is the bridge. Yeah, I think I did see this, actually. This is awesome. If you guys know me, you know I love bridges, especially in Hunger Games. I don't know why. I just kind of love them. It's a crashed car. It's like a... Is that a police car? Yeah, we've got, we got a bunch... Was a police chase going on as the, the apocalypse was coming? That's hardly a good use of your time, police force. Seriously. You know, car chase or post-apocalyptic fighting. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I didn't think about this. This could this could have been what would happen on December 21st. It didn't, thank God. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing this map. But still, it could have been what happened. Imagine if this was the world, like, right now. How weird would that be? I have no idea. Anyway, this is pretty cool. I'm liking the bridge aspect. It's kind of hectic. I could imagine some awesome fights going around on those cars. And, uh, yeah, I... Th I think I remember this building, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I met uh, Variety, and I was like, oh, team. And we tried to team, and then we lost each other, and it didn't work, because we fail. And I need to know what's in this chest, because I saw that. Raw fish and an iron ingot. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of cool chest. I like that. So I'm like, you know, all of these buildings, something about this, they're all very different. They look good. They look attractive to the eye. I don't know why I'm going into this, but it's just a nice thing to talk about, really. It, it looks very nice. And they've all kind of got this... That is a perfect example right there, actually. They've kind of got this, like, overtaken by ice theme, which, again, post-apocalyptic. Like, I love that. It's like the ice is melted into the building. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like, look at all of this. This is really, really nice. So, you know, again, I'm going to try and finish this off here. You kind of get the idea of the map. 
But another amazing job done by everyone. It, I love this map. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and call this my favourite map of survival games so far. I know I usually say that every time a new one comes out. But it's true. I mean, they keep one-upping themselves on this. So, if that's anything to go by, I cannot wait to see what comes up for Survival Games 6. It's going to be intense, guys. But I extremely urge you and hope you do go and check this map out. Feel free to go over to the Survival Games servers, which I will post in the description to play this live with a bunch of random people. Or, as I've been saying, because this now implements command blocks, feel free to download the map, load it onto your own server, and play with your friends. I am going to be doing that on a stream very soon, and you guys need to go and check that out. So all the links you will need will be in the description, as always. Thank you guys for checking it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative to you. I know I kind of got off on a tangent at one point, but hey, it wouldn't be a Yoshi video without that happening. Cheese. See? There's another tangent. A tangent of cheese. That should be what the collective name for cheese is. Oh, what have you got there, Billy? A tangent of cheese. Well, can I bite into your tangent? I need to stop, don't I? So, as always, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you did. And until next time, I will see you next time. That didn't make any sense. Let's, let's go off into the snowy wasteland as I ponder why I had an awful outro there. <sighs>